Paradise Paradise is not what it's made to be No Just say you won't let go Cause my bones can't keep taking this And I think you should know Just how long I've been faking this These walls are caving I'm in the rain, but guess where we're at? We made it to Portland. <sighs> this is gonna be a Portland vlog. And I flew in last night from DC, and um, this is my first full day. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, the leaves are so pretty. Um, I wanted to come to Portland to experience the fall, the foliage, um, and also lots of um, like nature. Uh, lots of parks and stuff that I want to visit. So I think I'm gonna take you guys along with me as always. Wasn't sure I was actually gonna make this trip. I planned this trip a while ago, but um, because I found out that November is rainy season in um, Portland, it literally rains like every day. So I wasn't sure if I really wanted to come anymore. But I don't wanna be the type of person who cancels their trip because it's going to rain. Like I don't wanna be that girl. So I decided, you know what? F it. Plus, one of my hotels wouldn't give me a refund because I was past the cutoff time. So I was like, you know what? F it. Let's just go. Let's make the best of it. So this might end up being a cozy, fall, rainy vlog. But I think that also could be beautiful. So I decided to come anyway and share my experience with you guys. So let's go see Portland. is not what it's made to be no just say you won't let go cause my bones can't keep taking this and I think you should know just how long I've been faking this these walls are caving Pink box. 
Um, and just in case you thought I was kidding about Portland being weird, look, there's a sign behind me that says, keep Portland weird. I'm gonna show you guys, but I'm not making it up. Portland is weird, the people are weird, but it's what makes it beautiful, so. I'm excited to try my donuts, I can't wait. I'm trying to find like a spot, like a dry spot that I could sit and enjoy it and show you guys which flavor I got. Um, but we might have to do it on the street in the rain, so let's see. So guys, I just picked up my rental car, so I'm in the car now. Um, and I got my donuts. Let me show you which flavor I got. <laughs> it's like a mess. <laughs> box kind of got rained on um, while I was walking but this is what the box looks like it's like a cute little pink box and it says good things come in pink boxes which of course I agree and ta-da so I got the maple bacon which I told was like really popular this one is like a chai donut um, with whipped cream on top and then she gave me a free sprinkled one um, she said she had extra leftovers so she gave me that one and I'm excited let's try them I'm like a big kid. Right, I guess we'll try the maple bacon first. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with maple. We just can't. Let me try a bit of the bacon, though. <laughs> mm. It's good. Such a good combination flavor. Mm. Yeah. Pretty decent. Alright. I am supposed to be on a diet, but like, what the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Gas prices is $4. $4.39. That's crazy. <laughs> See, the tripod dropped because the even the tripod thought that was crazy. To pay $4 for, for gas. Um, mm mm. So the rain has settled down quite a bit. I can actually walk outside with no umbrella. Um, right now I'm in Chinatown, so like Old Town, downtown area of Portland. Um, I am heading to the Chinese garden um, to visit that, so let's go. So 
guys, I just left the Chinese garden. It was so beautiful, like I said, very peaceful, very serene inside. So 10 out of 10 recommend that. Um, I'm still in the downtown Chinatown area. Um, I am walking to the thrift store now. It's Like I said, it's called Laundry, so I wanna check out to see if I find any goodies. Um, I have no space in my suitcase, but you know the vibes. We're gonna make space. Um, so yeah, let's go to the thrift store. <laughs> Someone I wish you were Loved you, I was close, kept you just a blur I couldn't face it, but now I do Truth is I was never in love with you Yeah, yeah, yeah Hey guys, I just made it back to my hotel room it's currently 8, 8.02 p.m. Um, I just came back from dinner. I ended up eating at this place called the Mediterranean Experience. And let me just tell you, it was 10 out of 10. Highly, highly recommend that place. It was so, 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 so good. Um, I got the lamb chops, which was delicious. The flavors were just incredible. Um, and then I got like this, they called it like the crispy sweet potatoes. Um, but it had like pickled onions on top with like some kind of green sauce. It was, it was, it was amazing. It was pretty good. I had a, definitely a really good dinner. Definitely recommend um, the Mediterranean experience. If you're ever in town in the Portland area, it's definitely worth the drive. Um, the portions are a little bit small, but I wasn't that hungry. So I only got two things, but you could definitely like, like have a like full experience and try different um, plates. It's more like a tapas place. So that's it. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower, get in my pink little PJs, and call it a night. I'm trying to stay up at least till 10 p.m. because if I go to sleep now, you guys, I will. I'm definitely gonna wake up at two o'clock in the morning, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we don't want that. I want a full, full eight hours of sleep, so I'm gonna go to bed at like around 10, and then I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning guys and welcome to day two in Portland. Um, I just left my hotel, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I am heading to Mother's for breakfast. Um, this is definitely a place that came highly recommended. So I'm excited to see if it lives up to the hype. Um, obviously, oh, it doesn't look packed, but usually I heard the line is like outside the door. It's that popular. So I'm excited to try it. Um, doing a different look today i'm wearing my sunnies because it's not raining today it's very foggy but it's not raining so we'll take what we can get but let's go eat I just finished my breakfast. The food was absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. I actually think I might go back tomorrow to have breakfast again because it was that good. I really, really enjoyed it. So now I am walking to the Portland Saturday Market. I'm not actually sure if they're open or currently operating right now, but I thought let's try and see if it's there. It's basically um, the longest outdoor market that's continuously operating today. Um, I read all about it last night. They started in 1974 and they still do it like every Saturday, sometimes Sundays up until today. So I think it'd be like a really cool thing to see. So let's go see if it's 
happening and I'll take you guys along. How could I ever let go? milk latte in hand trusty trusty to go order when ordering lattes i love the combo and it's really 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 good um, i'm just gonna stop at the hotel really quickly to grab a couple things and then we are gonna head to the coast of oregon we're gonna head to the beach i cannot wait <laughs> I just made it to Stephen States Park, my first beach stop. Um, and of course, it started raining <laughs> right as soon as I get, got closer to the park. But it's still really, really beautiful. It's almost two hours um, outside of Portland to get here. So the reason why it's popular is because there's a shipwreck right in front of the beach. And I'm going to show you guys right now because I'm walking towards it. But it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what year this shipwrecked but it's been here I guess for years and it's like stuck in the sand so that's what has made this beach I guess an attraction and a sight to see but it's really beautiful there's the shipwreck right here you see it right there there's the car parked right in front of it because this guy was trying to take a picture with his car but I'm about to set up and take a photo myself so wish me luck because I'm trying to get the shot in the rain so <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> from the car this is what day three day two no i think this is day three <laughs> um it's sunday it's about 8 30 in the morning and um i woke up really early um, i was finishing up the vlog and everything but um i woke up early and the weather was actually quite beautiful it's still a bit cloudy but it's not raining it's not hazy so i thought i switched my plans around a little bit i was supposed to go eat breakfast but i decided you know what screw breakfast for now let me head on over to Multnomah Falls first um as you ooh, look at that the sun is peeking through oh my god <laughs> if you know like the struggle with this vlog has been just cloudy rainy weather and this is the first time I'm seeing the sun peeking through um but anyway um I'm about to head to Multnomah Falls 
basically the falls is what inspired this entire trip to portland i've always wanted to see it it's absolutely beautiful it's really tall i think it's like 170 feet or something but um i'm heading there now and then when i come back i'll get breakfast and morning time today's monday right yeah today's monday i just got finished getting ready i just took some pictures in my room um follow me on instagram if you want to see them but um i'll show you guys what i'm wearing today hair is still looking crazy but i've decided to just stop fighting with it and just rock it as is um but let me show you guys my outfit i'm wearing the same jumpsuit that i wore i think one day too um because I didn't really pack that much for this trip and I only wore it for like two hours that day. So I'm wearing it again. Let me show you. <laughs> you can't even really see it, but it's a, anyway, you can't really see it, but it's a vintage, a vintage jumpsuit that I thrifted like many, 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 many years ago um, back in Jersey. And I love it so much. I wear it quite often because it's one of my favorite pieces that I've ever thrifted ever um and i have like on this is max chili i've had this lipstick forever it's like a classic staple of mine and yeah it's like 9 30 9 40 i'm starving um so i really really want to get out and go grab some breakfast and then we'll carry on and see what we can get up to today and of course i'll take you guys along with me so let's go <laughs> Still down I'd go And you'd pick me up 
Whether on those trains or when I felt low Running through streets like taxi cabs I didn't know how good we had Everything with us Just know I miss it bad I hope you think of me when you walk down Broadway Hear me sing when you hear street bands play Hope you think of me Will you go back to the city Hope you see me at the Soho Downer Can't sleep and you pull no matter so guys, I just finished breakfast at Zeus Cafe. I had the French toast and a cappuccino, so nothing major. Um, it was really good. You can't go wrong with French toast. Now, I am walking to this bookstore. It's called the Powell's Bookstore. It's pretty iconic here in um, Portland. So let's go check it out. So guys, um, finally made it to Powell's bookstore which is right behind me um, like I said this bookstore is really iconic to Portland because it's been operating since 1971 so it's vintage and you guys know I love vintage so let's go inside you go back to the city beautiful day today it's very crisp and cozy um, I'm actually walking to the coffee shop right now I'm going to Deadstock coffee to get a nice coffee even though it's freezing um, and then I have a red-eye flight tonight at like 11 p.m. so I have like all day to just kind of do more things so I have a couple things planned before I leave and of course I'll take you guys along with me but for now, let's go grab some coffee. I'll check back in later. Kinda crazy. Oh, oh, I saw something kinda crazy. Oh, 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 me, baby. Oh, 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 Call me baby, I know it's kinda crazy But if you're down for me, let's So guys, I just made it to Pitcock Mansion I think that's what it's called I'll put the name on the screen But basically, 
it's like a museum um, that you can visit. Uh, one of the earliest families that basically modernized Portland, the Pitcocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Got me feeling lucky. Come my way, you lovely. Oh. I've been waiting for you for a while. I've been waiting for, waiting for you. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? I've been waiting for, waiting for you. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking. But if you want to, we can. How about you? Cause I've been, I've been. Call me baby. I know it's. Crazy. If you're down for me, let's do something crazy. So guys, made it to Cannon Beach. Finally, finally, it is here. And it's just as beautiful as I thought. And today's a clear day, so the sun is setting. It's just this beautiful golden hour, and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, yeah, what a way to end the trip. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> like the end of an era the last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us overnight we're all grown up moving along we're all finding where we belong you never know when we'll say goodnight for the last time so while you're here want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you I can't let my heart is broken Won't leave these things unspoken I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that This is it, isn't it? This is it This is it, isn't it? This is it I know that we may be farther, but we will still be together for every milestone in our lives. You're all grown up moving along, you found exactly where you belong, and I know that we'll still have our ties. So while we're here, let's give a cheer to everything we through. I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go But I just want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you 